Hi, it's Dr. Sandy Kramers, and I just want to tell you about the Mybography, which many of you know about. You've had it before. It's a procedure that and a picture test of a very important part of the eyeball that was covered with by insurance before the COVID pandemic, and for some reason they're not covering it anymore. But I view it as one of the most crucial tests we can do of the eyelid, of the eye, really, because it is the key reason, it shows the key reason of why a lot of patients have either blurry vision, their quality is not perfect or they have foreign body sensation, pain, redness, itching, or they feel their eyes or dryness. Um, and I wanna show you what it looks like because it's very important to finally see this. So years ago, we didn't have this instrument. You had to rely on the doctor to kind of tell you why they, you, they think you had the symptoms, but now we can show you. We can show you scar tissue forming in these very important glands that are located in every single eyelid. Most eyelid, most people are born with about 30 to 35 of these glands. And as we get older, they decrease. And I wanna show you what that looks like. And so it used to be insurance covers it, they no longer cover it. So there is an out of pocket expense, but it's priceless. I recommend it on anyone that's on screens more than three or four hours a day, which is most of us. I really recommend that children that are on screens have it every single year. All my kids get this every year. I get this twice a year sometimes, because I, I haven't, because I wanna just see what my glands do over time. And so it kind of gives you a prognosis. And we'd use this test any time we're about to do any, I'd use this test before we do any eye surgery because the number one cause, the number one complaint after any eye surgery is foreign body sensation, irritation, tearing, or they feel some discomfort that the doctor can't really see, but we knew, know it's usually from the oil glands. If there's a lot of oil glands, then your symptoms won't be as pronounced because you have that buffer of the oil after a procedure, whether it's cataract surgery, pterygium, refractive surgery, corneal transplant, any type of eye surgery. If you have a little oil, you'll be probably one of those patients to get those symptoms. And it's not really the surgeon's fault. It's because usually there's some scar tissue in the gland. So let me show you again. You've seen my videos before, so bear with me here. And so here are these kind of white looking piano keys here. And they, this is how most people should look really until the age of 80 or 90, we believe. You know, I've had many, many patients that are in their 70s, 80s and 90s that actually look like this, which is kind of amazing. Um, actually, most of them don't have cell phones to believe it or not, or have gotten them recently. When there's one gland that disappears, we treat it as an urgency because it's very difficult to bring back those glands. And here's a patient that has a significant loss in glands. This is the lower lid. And I wanted to show you the upper lid. This is a good example of a patient who has had a significant loss of oil. You can see where there's some glands remaining, but then skeletons remain of the rest of the glands. So we basically want to try to stop this process. And you've heard me talk about the three ways to stop the process. The third, the first, most important way is warm compresses, blinking, minimal screen time, talking with your eyes closed, blinking, uh, with, you know, talking with your eyes closed and typing with your eyes closed, warm compresses, that's number one. Number two is thermal pulsation, like Lipiflow uh, or Ilux. I personally prefer Lipiflow because it's more comfortable. I've had both done on my, on my eyes. And the third way is usually for patients that don't improve with Lipiflow, either they have not enough oil coming out or there's not enough glands or scar tissue, there's dark spots here or scar tissue. The third way is intense pulse light, also called IPL and or probing where we go into each gland and open up the scar tissue. That third option, which is often for patients like this, is not fun, it's uncomfortable, and it is not FDA approved, it's still ex considered experimental. So the thermal pulsation, Lipiflow for instance, is FDA approved, and even though it's out of pocket, it's worth it. So I just wanted to show you that, and I apologize for the lip of you no longer being covered, but it is really priceless. Um, it is medically necessary, so contact your insurance company, tell them this should be covered. I uh, hope this help. helps. Bye-bye.